Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Got another fun video for you today. Now, if you're a subscriber or if you saw that video I posted a few weeks back, I built this. This is a fuzz face clone from stompboxparts.com. It was a great little kit. Um, I did a pretty detailed video about it. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here for you to check out. But here's the thing. This is one of the fuzz face clones. There's actually a lot of them out on the market. In fact, on the screen right now, I'm gonna put a partial list of the various pedals on the market that use the fuzz face circuit. So all of these pedals use effectively the same circuit. So this mod that I'm gonna tell you about, you could do on any of these pedals, okay? Um, or a number of other pedals on the market. So if you've ever used a fuzz face, any fuzz face, you know there's two controls. There's a volume control and a gain control, or some of them label it fuzz, whichever. And the typical way that most people use a fuzz face is they go to that gain control and just max it out and then they take the volume control and they adjust it to where their clean is about the same as their dirty. And that's how they use it. And they never touch the knobs again. Well, a bunch of people had talked about how they like to under or over bias their fuzz face on purpose to get a different sound. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you look at a fuzz face circuit, it actually has three potentiometers in the circuit. Of course, the fuzz potentiometer and the volume potentiometer, but there's a third potentiometer, which is the bias potentiometer, and that's typically mounted inside the pedal, so you have to take the back off to get to it. Okay, and what you do is you bias it to where there's 4.5 volts arriving at the second transistor. And so that is what has become the fuzz face sound. But then there are various players and notable players that say they like the sound better if they're getting 1.6 volts delivered to the second transistor or 6.7 volts or whatever, but they purposely bias their pedals differently. So I was like, why didn't they just put a bias control on the front panel? Well, that's what this is. So what I did is I just mounted my own bias pot here. And if you see, there's a little silver dot there. If you line the white line up with the silver dot, that is properly biased. And then of course you can easily under bias the pedal or over bias the pedal to taste. So I was like, hmm, let me try this out. And let me tell you, this makes the pedal a lot cooler. The volume pot is a 500K pot. The bias pot is a 10K pot and the fuzz or gain pot is a 1K pot. So what I did is just took a standard B1K potentiometer, I unsoldered the trimmer pot from the board and just ran three wires to that, drilled a hole on the side and mounted it on the side of the pedal and bam, that's it. Then I properly biased it, put the knob on, made a dot where it was and there you go. So that's what I did, but it makes this pedal so much more fun. Let me show you. Okay, so let's start out with our clean tone. There you go, and I was kicking the fuzz face. That was that classic fuzz face. It works super well with power chords. Of course, the other great thing about a fuzz face is you've got this really aggressive tone, but if you roll your volume back a little, it cleans up really nice. It can almost give you like a, like a, uh, a almost like a dirty clean. But anyway, there's our classic fuzz face. So. Now let's under bias the pedal. So I'm gonna turn the bias significantly under what it's expecting. So you hear how it gets kind of splatty? Kind of a gated kind of sound. And it's just a really cool sound.
really kind of unpredictable and splatty and gated. And I really like the way that works. Now, if we bring that back up a bit. Um, now let's try over biasing and here we go. So you can hear it gets bassier and louder and less fuzzy, but it still has a really cool tone. It's almost like the tone when we roll back the volume when we're in like regular bias. And of course, if we back the volume off on the guitar. like a blues sound out of a fuzz pedal. But then what's nice is you just put that bias back to the silver dot, get your gain crank back up, get your volume where it's comfortable, and right back to a fuzz face. So there you go, folks. If you've got one of these or any fuzz face circuit lying around, it could be a Dunlop, it could be any of them, you could easily do this same mod to it. Just drill a hole, mount a pot, take those wires off the trim pot, bam, there you go. Bias control where you can get to it. Makes the pedal a lot more fun. And uh, hopefully you agree with me from those sound clips. So anyway, if you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.